The general function of a head-up display, more or less in any situation, is the same. It starts with a light source, it's called the picture generating unit with a display on top. And there the image is get generated, then the light goes to the so-called fold mirror. The fold mirror is only there to um, reduce the package size. Then it goes up to a rotatable mirror. This rotatable mirror um, does several things. First of all, it does the magnification because we magnify the image um, to get a certain projection distance of the virtual image. Um, in addition, it uh, corrects for distortions from the windshield, so the windshield is bended and it's usually a very a designed bend, so this has to be compensated to get in the end a direct angular Im image again. This is done by that and finally the um, capability rot to rotate this image allows to adapt for the driver's tallness and height. Then the image goes through the cover to the windshield. The windshield is a special one um, and finally goes to the driver's eye. Does the windshield have to be specially treated? Yes, it has to be specially engineered in two points. One is that, of course, the tolerances in the area where the image is reflected is tighter than for a normal windshield. And the other point is that if you look at a normal uh, window, you have two parallel pieces of glasses. Yeah? You have a reflection in the inner side and one reflection at the outer side. Yeah? As a consequence, you see a double image. So when you look through a window and see your own reflection on uh, when the interior is lighted and the outer is dark here, yeah, then you ha always have two reflections which you can distinguish as a human user. Yeah? So you want to have a single image yeah, and not a double image, uh, although this is of course a normal you window. Want the ghost image. Yes, yeah. exactly. And as a consequence, the windshield has an angle. So the both pieces of glasses are put like that, and this wedge angle allows uh, that the outer image matches to the inner image. And and as a consequence, you see just one single picture. Yeah. The head motion box is a virtual component. It just means that we have the driver in a certain area where he can see the image. Yeah. So you may have noticed this morning, if you get out of this, it, you, it will get cut. So this is the head motion box, so it's a design criteria for us. Yeah. The glare trap and the light trap, yes, these are physical components. This is the cover of a head-up display. It is like that in the car, yeah, so in front of here. The design criteria now is that if the sun goes in, there shouldn't be a reflection which disturbs you during driving. So if the sun goes in, it is now reflected to the light trap, which is nothing else but a black piece of plastic. They are integrated in the dashboard and where the light vanishes more or less.